Welcome to Guru Trader Video for Thursday, May 26, 2011. Here's the five market movers that we're watching today. Three new symbols, two follow-ups. On the NASDAQ, first time mentioning LVLT, Level 3 Communications Inc., 223, up 3. Also on the NASDAQ, first time mentioning COOL, Majesco Entertainment Company, 309, up 46. And on the Amex, following up on URZ, Uriners Energy Corp., 304, up 4. On the TSX Venture Exchange, first time mentioning RIO, Real Alto Mining Limited, 260, up 11. And lastly, also on the Venture Exchange, following up on INT, Entertainment Media Inc., 120, up 7. Let's take a closer look at these stocks. Video since April 29th, uh, just haven't been able to find anything in the markets that's caught our eye recently. Um, very spongy markets, and uh, it's May, and we've stayed away. And uh, But anyway, there are a few stocks that are popping up. Uh, you'll notice that we're shifting more from the metals and the TSX Venture. They'll be at the end of our videos, probably over the summer, as we usually do this time of the year. And there'll be more mentions of uh, you know some Nasdaq OTC bulletin boards and whatever's hopping. Having a hard time coming up with five to seven stocks. But anyway, today this is what what did pop up: uh, LVLT Level Three Communications Inc. Uh, I know this company. I have never traded it. But um, anyway, they are the reason I'm mentioning it is you know even while these markets have been spongy, uh, here's the chart for level three uh, right from the beginning of the year from around a dollar it's it's gone right up, uh, broke its 52 week high again today which is a strong signal for me um, on uh, May 25th yesterday it closed at 220 which was another year high if you look at the longer term chart on the company um, let me bring that up here there's the five year chart been over six dollars back in 2007 and has really sold off into 2009 and has gone kind of sideways since but here you know here's a critical mark just under two dollars and we've broken through that so let's look at that one year chart again uh, there's that trend that I'm sort of keeping an eye on if this thing can hold above two dollars let's look at the three month chart yeah sort of the same thing anyway level three um, they're into um, uh, fiber optics Okay, leading international provider of fiber-based communication services, enterprise content, wholesale, and government customers rely on Level 3 to deliver services, industry-leading combination of scalability and value over an end-to-end -end fiber network, portfolio of metro and long-haul services, including transport data, internet, content delivery, and voice. Used to be a hot stock back in the dot-com days. And uh, anyway, uh, it's not a small cap, but like I said, having a hard time finding you know five to seven small caps to report on uh, each day but anyway 3.8 billion is the market cap on that one so just more of a technical observation more than anything I don't need to go over their news releases I did look at their uh, last financials I'm not seeing anything there that's that's jumping out at me I've looked under our uh, under the earnings tab I don't see anything there I'm looking under let's look under our analyst tab and I think even that's mixed but um, anyway technically is what I'm watching on they're saying it's currently 308 out of you know, one is a strong buy, five is a strong sell, though, right in the middle. They've got, uh, let's see here, two analysts recommending strong buy, seven a hold, one a moderate sell, two a strong sell. So there's not even anything there to uh, to bank on. But anyway, we're watching it. Uh, first time mentioning that one. So we'll move on here. COOL, uh, cool, uh, Majesco Entertainment Company, 309 at 46. Now, this one, the 52 week high on this one was on April the 5th, right around here. It has sold off below three dollars and it's bouncing here. So I don't know if this is a dead cat bounce. For me, just looking at that, I I would want to see this one hold above two fifty. Now keep in mind uh, the low on this one was forty nine cents on October twenty first of last year, so it's had a nice build. So uh, this one didn't immediately jump out, but I started reading about it. They they make video games basically. Uh, uh, May 24th, they reported uh, Cooking Mama 4, Kitchen Magic for Nintendo 3DS, and Camping Mama Outdoor Adventures for Nintendo DS. Um, let's see this one here. Sandalot Games pull Cake Mania Main Street out of oven and serve it up at a hot retail shelf. So, and uh, and this this one here expands their number one selling Zumba fitness video game franchise with Zumba Fitness 2 coming to the Wii this holiday. So this is uh, on May the 10th. Um, and there's other names of other games that are there, so it's interesting. Um, now I looked at their financials. I wanted to see, you know, what kind of sales is this company reporting, and that even looked interesting. Uh, let's see, March the eighth uh, for the first quarter ending January 31st, their net revenues are 48 and a half million versus 29.2 million. Uh, during the same period, the company reported operating income of 8 million. 
Uh, so it looks like they're making money compared to operating income of 2.5 million for the first quarter of 2010. Their non-GAAP operating income was 8.3 million versus 3.5 million last year. Their net income was 6.8 versus 3.8 million last year. On a non-GAAP basis, their net income was 7.5 million compared to non-GAAP net income of 2.9 million last year. So that's interesting. They're showing, okay, basic and diluted net income for the quarter and to January 31st was 18 cents compared to 10 cents. Uh, diluted net income was 20 cents uh, compared to net income of 8 cents so you know that that looks substantial there so maybe I'm going to keep an eye on that one the five-year chart kind of choppy hasn't been able to get through two bucks let's look at the 10-year back in 2004 2005 looks like this was thirty dollars I don't know if it was actually thirty dollars or maybe there's some type of rollback uh, I don't know but uh, anyway the stock hasn't really done anything since 2006 and like I said there's that trend so let's keep an eye on that one moving on URZ Uranus Energy Corp this is a uranium company um, they're one of our featured stocks we've been writing about them since December of 2010 um, they buy some advertising on our site and so on and uh, anyway just wanted to cl disclose that now they, their properties they have 30 projects in Wyoming in the Powder River Basin um, they just announced their their 2011 drilling program. Um, they're currently waiting on their final permit to put their first mine in the Nichols Ranch project into production. Um, and I just wanted to mention, we put out a newsletter a couple days ago. Uh, we were, we we look at this event each year of whether the Russell, you know, who's going to be dropped and who's going to be added, and we were wondering if yearners qualified to be added, and we realized that they had been added before and we wanted to look at the effect of when they were added and when they were dropped last year and what that did to their stock. So we wrote a little article about that and uh, that's uh, if you go to our site you'll see it linked from the from our home page um, or if you go to our blog at blog.investorsguru.com you'll see it. Uh, it's titled uh, Yearner's Energy. Will Yearner's Energy be inducted to the Russell 2000 Index next month? And it looks at the effect of you know what's happened in the past and uh, and uh, just wondering if that's going to happen again. So I wanted to mention that. And uh, on the TSX Venture Exchange, first time mentioning this one, RIO, Rio Alto Mining Limited, 260 up 11, over 3 million shares traded. The 52 week high on this was 273, which it did on January the 4th. It's kind of gone down to sideways since. Uh, held that two dollars fairly well, and now it's it's moving up and, and breaking through that high again. So that's, you know, technically very positive. Um, now the low on this one, keep in mind, was 60 cents on July the 8th of last year. Um, this one's come up on my radar a few times, but I don't believe I've ever mentioned it. It's, I mean, this is a, a great uh, trend here, and I um, wish I had mentioned it sooner. But uh, anyway, the, what I thought was interesting here was, uh, let's see, May the 9th, Rio Alto pours uh, 1,115 ounces of gold at the La Arena. Um, on April 26, they uh, they drilled 173 meters of 1.53 grams per ton gold. Um, April 19th, they drew down 19.5 million. I think that's of a 25 million uh, facility they have from uh, Red Kite. Uh, I'm not sure what they are, what type of fund they are. They provided a lending facility. Various updates. So it's very active. Good news flow. Uh, stock just keeps chugging along. 438 million market cap. So it's you know we like to catch them sooner than that but uh, you know technically looks okay and it's getting hard to find a you know a, a resource stock that's been uh, you know holding on to its gains lately so this one's a little more senior and I thought I'd mention it because it still does look good here so keep an eye on that one and lastly following up on this INT Entertainment Media Inc 120 up 7 over 6 million shares traded and this one's been very active and uh, we've mentioned this one this is our fourth post since February the 7th at 55 cents and March 31st at 66 cents and April 15th at a dollar 35 now we mentioned it um, let me see here February the 7th we put it right around here so we mentioned it on this first spike and then I think we mentioned it after that and then we mentioned it a dollar 35 through on the way up it went all the way up to three dollars and thirty five cents on April 19th so this thing's been very volatile and very active market caps up to 150 million now I've got no opinion on it don't own it um, just been watching it and uh, so I mentioned a few times they're in with uh, Gene Simmons and now Paul Stanley of KISS and they're in with um, what's his name Nash uh, basketball they got various you know uh, endorsements it, it's this in it, their what the product is is Ortsbo real-time translator 
uh, for social networks and now I think they have an application for email and other applications and they they've mentioned in their releases how many millions of people have signed on and this this release here on the 24th says that their Ortsbull real-time translator establishes Guinness world record at KISS live and global I think they had a chat where they had uh, 92 different uh, people speaking 92 different languages involved and that established a world record so I don't know I don't have a big opinion on this I'm trying to figure out where the money is <laughs> and I haven't been able to, to find that yet but uh, we'll continue watching it and uh, probably won't mention this one again until <laughs> if it ever gets above this 175 mark um, because I want to see if this thing there's kind of a negative slope here so let's see if it holds above a dollar and and starts turning around uh, and if that if that volume ever wanes I'll probably won't mention it again but anyway that's about it for today um, uh, do your homework trade safely and we'll talk with you soon Guru Trader videos and tweets are daily snapshots of five to seven very active small and microcap stocks from all North American stock exchanges. We simply track stocks that are trading up significantly on news or making new highs on very high volume without any further consideration of company fundamentals. The point is to save time by focusing on only those stocks that are moving right now. Guru Trader symbols come from filtering market movers and from subjective observations. Our software cross-references today's volume actives, percent gainers, and dollar gainers, which are filtered down to just lower price stocks. We then look at each stock's charts for apparent uptrends, and news headlines for obvious one-day-only events to exclude, like a buyout, or for longer-term growth-related news like financials, drill results, patent approvals, etc., to include. This is similar to how many traders look for new stocks as a starting point for further research with their financial and investment advisors. This is not an advisory service, and conflicts may exist as we sometimes take positions, or featured stocks may have bought online advertising or IR support services. Any content published by Investors Guru Small Cap Stock Observer is subject to the terms of our privacy policy and disclaimer at InvestorsGuru.com. For our other small cap stock channels, follow Twitter's Guru Trader Tweet in real time on your PC or mobile device at twitter.com slash InvestorsGuru. Subscribe to watch YouTube's Investors Guru video channel at youtube.com slash InvestorsGuru. Search, search Investors Guru at facebook.com and add us as a friend to see our videos, tweets, etc. that are all synced to post on our wall. It's free to sign up at InvestorsGuru.com stock community for comprehensive quotes, newsletters, profiles, forums, etc., where to update your portfolio, watch list, alerts, and news by email preferences. Thanks for watching.